and uh, I was convinced. So you made the decision to move out. Now, what? When did you tell Casey's mother about this? Well, about uh, your decision. Now we're into th uh, Thursday morning, and we're packing. Uh, her mother was uh, working. She works as a teacher's aide at the North Bend uh, school system. Actually, meeting with me. Uh, That's what you were told. Yes, I. Uh, I remained adamant with her. I should also. Uh, inform her, I should also mention that I was also in contact with an attorney that the lady from Heal rec recommended. His name is Tom Burton. He's in Salt Lake City, Utah, and he, he told me in no uncertain terms that I needed to see my son and to be very, very insistent. So uh, I informed, I informed and, and he also informed me in no uncertain terms to get my son out of this program. And it would do nothing but harm him. Now she has notified the school now. Once, yes. Once you've made the decision to go. When I made a reception room where we sat down and talked to her and another lady, and uh, very shortly thereafter, the school director came in. So that you met with one staff member and then the director. What was that like? Was that cordial? Was it? Well, the director came in. Uh, his his name was Car is Car Farnsworth. Um, he uh, he came in and uh, immediately started talking, and uh, pretty much uh, wouldn't stop talking. Um, he spoke and spoke and spoke, and uh, and uh, talked about uh, false allegations on the internet and uh, having no control over what's put out. Um, I finally had to interrupt him and say, "I've traveled a long time." And I'm a little bit anxious to see my son. Um, could we proceed? And uh, he subsequently brought, uh, I think it was six, six boys came in. Um, they closed the door. I had been warned by the attorney that the room that we'd be speaking in would be bugged, uh, undoubtedly, is what he said. Mm -hmm. um, so I, was, uh, I had quite a few questions uh, based on what I had seen on the internet for them, uh, even using some of the terminology that was used uh, as far as the, uh, the, uh, what the different punishments and the, 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 the uh, brutality and things like that, what went on. Um, the guys were, were generally quite engaging. I, I liked them all. And uh, I, uh, there was one kid there who had completed the program, but he still was choosing, and uh, completed all the school credits that he needed, so that he thought he, that for, high, for a high school diploma is what he said, but he, uh, he was choosing to stay to complete the program, and that his father was very insistent on that, despite the fact that he was 18. He was, he was a level five, I believe. Um, did, they, did they feel programmed, the kids, I mean, told what to say? Well, I, I believe so. I believe that the, the punishment for speaking out against the facility uh, and saying anything negative would have been extremely severe. Uh, they all were speaking, they, they weren't all talking, I'm gonna qualify that. The, the, there were some guys there who were very, very quiet that were uh, the lower level guys uh, that were sitting there. Uh, uh, one guy, um, and, and uh, I'll get to this later I guess, but one guy had his, uh, his little crocheting uh, project there kind of rolled up. I thought that was kind of unusual uh, to see a teenage boy um, crocheting a blanket, but um, I took that and uh, he was real quiet and I didn't get a lot of eye contact from him. And then there was another guy there uh, named Nick who was assigned to Casey as his help buddy and that's that's quite an involved uh, title of, as, as far as duties, but, but he, uh, he was assigned to basically orientate Casey, um, report anything wrong that Casey did, and try to get him on board with the program. Uh, Nick? Should be with your son alone. No. Um, at that point, uh, I, my recollection isn't exact, but I believe I told Mr. Farnsworth that I was ready to see him and to produce my son at this point. Um, th th they, he said uh, he had been doing more talking and uh, I just, I, my recollection is that I said, bring him. Uh, so my son came into the room and uh, 
he was holding something in his hands. Um, he walked in very, very stiff, uh, very, very stoic. Uh, uh, no real discernible reaction on his face. Um, I went up and I gave him a hug, and he was still kind of stiff. And he just made eye contact, and he just looked really, really sad. Uh, is what I saw in his eyes. Sadness, not so much fear or kind of S- like there was a line you were afraid to cross? Sadness, but also a little bit of blank where I couldn't read much more beyond that. Um, I told Mr. Farnsworth that my wife and I needed to speak with him alone and to please step out of the room. Uh, I, Mr. Farnsworth said okay, and he left. Um, shut the door, and I started asking Casey questions. How are you? Fine. How are you being treated? Okay. Um, what's going on? Are you being abused? No. Um, again, not much of a, an emotional reaction. Maybe I detected a little bit of his eyes were maybe getting a little bit uh, teared up, but I, I, that's what I perceived at least but I was getting no discernible emotional reaction or anything of that nature. He was sitting down at this point. Um, Carla was sitting next to him uh, on his left, and she started whispering to him, and she started telling him, we can get you out of here. Do you want to stay? Do you want to come with us? We don't want you here. Um, Your parents don't want you here. Uh, We don't want you. They don't want you here. And he's, he, he, he sort of tensed up, and we're saying, and I started to talk to him again, and now we're whispering. And I'm saying, Casey, we can get you out of here. Do you want out? What do you want to do? Um, at that point, or short, almost about that point, the door pops open, and it's Mr. Farnsworth sh- sticking his head in, very concerned. I turned and looked and said, we're talking. Please leave. Shut the door. He, closed, he says, okay, and he closes the door. And I says, Casey, I says, I want you out of here. My wife wants you out of here. Your grandma and grandpa on my side of the family want you out of here. Your uncle on your mother's and aunt on your mother's side of the family want you out. And your mother and father's parents want you out of here. And he looked at me and his eyes started to show some hopefulness. And he said, my my grandpa Pat and Grandma Ruth, that's his mother's parents, who he's, who he's very close with, they live here in Coos County, they, they want me out of here? And I said, yes, they do. And I turned around, and I said, and he still was hesitating, and he was, he was almost disbelief but hopeful, and I said, they want you out. I said, listen to this. 